So for today, we're going to be changing out uh, a cassette. I'm going to put a new cassette on my uh, rear hub motor because uh, that one's got about 10,000 miles on it. And so I'm going to replace that and I'm going to replace the chain. Got a brand new chain here. Uh, it's a thing of beauty. And so I'm going to replace this because uh, again, mostly uh, on my drivetrain, the uh, the old chain has about 10,000 miles, as does the cassette. So this is a beautiful brand new cassette on my old wheel. So what I'm going to do is remove this, and then I'm going to put this onto my uh, rear hub wheel. So this is a normal uh, cassette remover, and basically that goes into the hole, and you can remove it. But when you'll, what you'll see is when I do the rear hub, its axle sticks out this far, so I needed the axle to become, come out. So what I did is I drew, bore a hole through here so I can actually do that. So anyway, I'm going to use this, and then in order to remove it, it's oftentimes quite tight, this little chain device you put around your cassette, and that will enable me to loosen this. Usually it's torqued a little bit more. But that removes the end cap here, which holds it into place. Now as you'll see what makes it a cassette, it has removable gears and then I move this off. And this fits, there's a combination, these are all different sizes, so you have to fit it specifically to the cassette. And you'll see as I put on the new, um, onto, onto the rear hub, how that works. But anyway, so I'm taking this and this is gonna be my cassette for my rear hub motor. So here's my hub motor and I think you can see this has got some serious wear on it. This is about 10,000 miles of wear. And this is the new one I'm going to put on, so there's quite a difference there. So this is a new Shimano cassette, and so what I'm going to do is take my modified cassette remover and find the right combination there. Put it in there. Once I line it up, there it is. Okay. And we'll take the chain device, the chain device and my crescent wrench, and we'll slide it on there and make it nice and snug. And I'm going to take this off. Okay. There we go. Just get it to where you can pull it off yourself. Oh, we're almost there. Yep, there it is. It's almost to the point where I can just, there we go. Twist it off. And we take off the end cap. And then the top two gears come off, and then there's your cassette right there. So we're going to take off again. I'm going to show you. What we're doing here is uh, quite some difference there. Okay, so that's the old one. And then I'm going to come in here with my trusty degreaser and get some of this off here before I put on the new cassette. Because uh, that is pretty disgusting. And then again, I'm going to apply some of the degreaser. Then what I'm going to do is apply with a rag some of my Teflon lube. Just put it here on the cassette. Give it a fresh start. Oops. All right. And a little on the uh, axle. Never hurt anybody. Okay. I'm going to line this, the new one up, the new cassette. And I've got to make sure it's lined up correctly. On the right. There you go. There you go. And then this one has one gear that goes on top, and we'll line that up correctly. Make sure it's. Okay. We'll hand tighten it first just to make sure it's going to fit. Yep, that's a good fit. And then we'll take my. Um, you see why I had to drill a hole in it, because it's got to sit over this. Okay. So I'm going to hand tighten it first, then I'm going to come on in and give it a torque. There. Okay. Torque it up. And make sure that end cap is nice and firm in there. Because you really don't want that to be loose at all. Okay, that's nice. And there it is, brand new cassette, perfect. 
All right, now on to the chain. So for this part of it, I'm going to take off the, the old chain and replace it with the new chain. And what you're going to need is a chain removing tool, which I've got here. I'm missing the, uh, the spin part, so I'm just going to use this. The spin it, what we'll do is just take any one of the links, place it in here, and we'll pop it out. Okay, so we'll line this up. You want to line it up with these um, rivets and then get it nice and snug like so. You can just do that hand tight and then you really got to apply some pressure here to get that out. It'll pop out but you just got to really give it some torque and it'll start to go out and you'll start to see it come out. There you go. Just takes a few turns. There it is. For the snap. Yep. And there it goes. Okay, get that out. And then what we're going to do is basically line up the two, the old and the new chain, so I get the exact same length. And then I'll trim the new chain to the same length as this one and install it, and we're good to go. And we do it without the wheel on here because the wheel makes it impossible. And then we'll install the wheel, make sure all the gears are lined up, and we should have a new cassette and a new chain, which is really the core of your drivetrain. So I've installed the chain. It's perfect. Same size as the old one. I've got the new uh, cassette on here. And look at that. Everything's working like a charm. Brand new. So I took a 10,000 mile chain and cassette off and replaced it with a brand new one. So we're good to go. I just have to adjust the brakes, attach this, get the motor back running, and I'm good to go. So that was a great every year or so kind of maintenance is to replace your drivetrain. It's such an important part of the bike. So anyway, I'm super happy. It looks great and works great, and I'll see you next time.